When solving a math expression involving more than one operation, we must follow the order of operations to ensure that any other individual doing the same problem would come up with the exact same answer. The first thing that we have to do with the order of operations is to solve everything located inside any set of parentheses first. In this example, we have 6 plus 2 inside parentheses, which is 8. After writing the answer to the first part that we had to do, bring down every other part of our math expression that we did not touch in the first step. The next step that we have to do for the order of operations are any exponents. And we have an exponent right here, and that is attached to the number 8. And 8 to the second power is 64. And once again, we have to bring everything down that we did not touch from the previous step. After you are finished with everything inside the parentheses and finished with all exponents, you must multiply and divide from left to right. Now a lot of people mistakenly think that you always multiply before you divide, but this is not true. You look for whichever of the two operations appears first in your math expression from left to right. And the first one of those two symbols to appear from left to right is a division sign. So we have to solve 64 divided by 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. We have to bring down the times 2, the minus 3, and the plus 1. So next we do 16 times 2, which is 32. We bring down the minus 3 and the plus 1. And the last step to the order of operations is to add and subtract. When all you have remaining are subtraction and addition signs, you have to solve in order from left to right. 32 minus 3 is 29, and then 29 plus 1 is 30. So the answer to this math expression is 30.